Well, part of the construction at the new Falcon Stadium is shut down today after an accident sent a man to the hospital. And family members tell Fox 5 that this scaffolding actually fell on his head. Fox 5's Jacqueline Schultz is live at the new stadium tonight. And Jacqueline, that man is in pretty bad shape, we understand. Yeah, the family tells me they are very concerned about bleeding to his brain and also tell me that he has some very bad injuries to his face. And they have a lot of questions tonight about who is responsible for these very gruesome injuries. Pressures on his face. about his spine. And his spine. Sonny Rogers family wants someone held responsible for what fell on their brother at the site of the new Falcon Stadium. I said the guys that was involved with that, they need to they need to be held accountable. Held accountable for it and a farming. Family members and in-laws met us outside Grady Memorial Hospital. They say Rogers is a construction worker and ask who is in charge and what orders were called out when large metal scaffolding fell on Rogers' head. Rogers' brother-in-law does the same job for subcontractor Skyline Forming. This is sad. It really is. It really is sad. Why they ain't do it the proper way they were supposed to do. While the family tells Fox 5 they have concerns, folks broke safety rules. The company, Skyline Forming, tells Fox 5 they have strict safety protocols and is trying to find answers for many of the family's same questions. As company officials piece together what happened, the site was shut down by the general contractor, who is also interviewing witnesses. I mean, shut the job down and see what's going on. They got cameras on the job. While Roger's family waits for answers, they also wait and pray for good news from doctors. We just pray praying for the best, really. Now the general contractor, Holder Hunt, Russell Moody, they're the ones who are overseeing the project here at the new Falcon Stadium. They tell me that they are also looking at safety protocol, whether things were or were not followed here. And also I'm told that OSHA is opening up an investigation. Reporting live outside the new Falcon Stadium, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News. Jacqueline, thank you. Noonan Police.